In this upcoming entry to the Fallout universe, the team behind Fallout Nuevo Mexico aims to reimagine the world of Fallout by going back to its original roots. In this multi-part gameplay trailer series, we'll dive into what makes this mod one of the most ambitious and story-driven Fallout projects out there. Unlike modern Fallout games, Nuevo Mexico gives you the chance to choose between your protagonist's origins, the convict or the dreamer. That's right, two of them. We'll be taking a look at the convict's beginning first. As the convict, you'll start off inside Tibbet's penitentiary prison with no recollection of who you were before you were mysteriously captured and locked up there. going to be neutralized by that crazed inmate. I... I too cannot remember much either. I woke up in a cell block, just like the one they put you in, and... well, that's it. Had no idea why we were brought here. But for some reason, I seem to remember a lot more than most inmates here. That's what those robotic machines call us. Inmates, and now, fugitives who are to be tracked down and caught. Buenas tardes, Nuevo Mexico. This is El Lobo, and I hope you're having the wonderful evening that you deserve. You know, people say that the Chihuahua Desert is a bad and dangerous place. And to be sincere with you, which I always am, it's true. Welcome to the Land of Enchantment. The year is 2166, 89 years after the Great War left the world in total nuclear devastation, those supposedly lucky enough to survive were greeted by a far harsher ruination. Hold your fire, boys. Don't shoot it just yet. <laughs> we can have our little fun with our burst. All right, bitch. You're gonna make this easy? Because if you try to resist, I will make sure you hate it even more. Oh, really? You got some friends, you say? They got some curves around the waist like you? Oh, because we'd love to have some fun with them, too. <laughs> Oh, I love it when they bite back. All right, come on, bitch, let's go. Te voy a partir tu madre, puta. Thank you. May the Lord repay you for your kind act here. I'm Sister Manuela, and the young man you just saved is my guard, Travis. Are you by any chance headed to the Shrine of Mary? I've been told the Prophet Adolfo will be there to give a speech. Voltec? Kidnapped you? You must be talking about those vaults built in the pre-war. 
I have heard Comanchero say some odd rumors about them. That and those mythical stories they tell about La Santa Muerte. Ay, cabrón! I don't recognize you. What the hell brings you to our outpost? No, sorry, but I can't do that way. I can only let you in once you give me a good reason to. We have no clue who you are. You may be here to raid the place. No mames. You were a part of that shit? Um, <clears throat> sorry then, lo siento. You know how it is. Gotta keep the place safe. Pues órale! Go on in, compa! Let me know if anyone gives you trouble. And hey, if you get a chance to talk to Adolfo again, put in a good word for me. If you're looking for trouble, senor, you ought to look the other way. Está bien. I'll answer a few questions for you. Just be quick. So, gonna ask me something? Muy bien. Take this duffel bag and stand over there. Shouldn't be long before a band of armed bandidos arrive. We should get going. I gotta return the caps and duffel bag to Pedro. Adolfo's right-hand man and sharpshooter Ramirez convinced him I was of value to the contribution of the bandito problem going on. That's why I call my relationship with them an alliance. Why, of course. I run a town that is rewarded daily for their fine work. Old Town is a prosperous town. It wields the power to bring desperate men and women to a moderate gate. And I'm the captain who steers the wheel. And let me tell you, partner, this town is gonna attract every hissing rattlesnake out there looking for food, water, sex, jacks, and a secure place from all the other snakes. I already own most of the caravan routes. As soon as I gain control of the Fuerza's route, they'll too be at my doorstep, ready to eat my shit. Hey, Chewie. Oh, you look a bit down. Everything okay? Well, you know how it is. Fucking management. I just got fired for protecting one of the girls. I'm sorry to hear that, Chewie. I sure hope you stick around Old Town. Hey there, compa. My name is Chewie. Chewie Chavez. You looking for a gun to hire, man? Because... Huevo Mexico isn't the place to wander around by yourself. People do anything when they're deprived of food and water and the pleasures of life. The people who don't find those natural pleasures seek it in camps, like that Vitajex crap that's being shoved in people's throats. I make a living by helping people have a fighting chance, uh, assuming they want to survive out there. Old Town has become a hub for junkies. The latest new trap is that Vitajex crap. Majority of the merchants here are on that shit. Keeps them up 24-7. Most people who try it, and they end up depending on it. That's how we ended up with the junk issues inside and outside the tunnel. Community festering with needles, pills, and whatever the fuck else. Don't not there. I was trying to, but You got a fucking problem, punk? I don't give a shit! I'll put you in the ground like the rest of them! Nobody asked for your stupid help. Why do you think we came here, idiot? You ruined my high with that fixer shit! Actually, you know what? Uh -huh. You're coming along with me to bust into that supplier shelter. So... It's Jasper we're paying a little visit to. 
Not sure if you heard of Jasper, but he is a well-known supplier of morphine. Prick's got some good shit, too! Hmm, well, fuck me! It's a good thing you're tagging along, dickhead. Place is gonna be crawling with hounds. Who's there? Step on over to the spotlight and identify yourself. Okay, smooth skin. Stay put and don't move a goddamn muscle. I won't hesitate to drill you into the ground with bullets. Now, identify yourself. We ghouls have seen some crazy shit. Like that damn secret lab facility base just 25 miles southwest of here. The Almos Research Facility Base Number 2 was top secret. Whatever was in that place was unleashed after the bombs managed to hit it pretty good. You've seen a glimpse of the convict. Now, it's time to show you a bit of the dreamer. In this origin, you play as another race, a ghoul who's taken residence in a pre-war military base known only as the Reservation. I always end up tired and worn out after a strenuous day of honest work. Para relajarme, I always love to sit back in my chair, cold like a ghoul in one hand. You can choose to leave the base at any time or pursue the main quest by impressing the Reservation's messiah. Looks pretty dead out there. Not a thing to shoot at or talk to. Only interesting thing that's happened is that weird guy who came in yapping about being imprisoned by vault Tech. I'll let Tom and his trusted circle deal with that, though. If you learn something new, let good old Ralph know. Um, what do you mean? You better not be suggesting sneaking inside, because you know I can't let you do that. Oh, good. <laughs> Had me on the edge of my seat there. Hmm. You must be the one Tom's expecting. I've heard about what you did to impress him. Biggest joke of my goddamn life. Don't feel special. Lots of so-called dreamers come and go around here. Tom's expecting you. Do not keep him waiting. You must be the fellow dreamer who managed to achieve the honor of impressing me. Do not feel inferior, my friend. While I'm both ruler and messiah of the reservation, I'm just like you, for I'm just another destitute mutation outside our precious reservation. So welcome, welcome to my laboratory. Here is where I aim to find our strongest artillery against the outside world. Let's delve into what that is. 34 years ago, we started an ambitious program, the Ghoul Procreation Program. A program in which we aim to bring our people the ability to conceive children. No longer will ghouls be deprived of the greatest gift of life. Life itself. Yes, fertility of our very own people. So tell me, can you be the person we need? What the? Oh, okay, good. Just one of you. Listen, mutant. 
I don't have a bone to pick with you. There's something lurking out there that's even more freakish than you folks. You happen to see one of those floating eye bots out there? They are trying to track me down and bring me back to... to that place. Exactly as I've said, they're floating bots with an eye. I've seen those bots take one of the prisoners. My assumption is they returned them back to Tibbets. Playing as the Dreamer grants you a unique playstyle that gives you a different experience than that of the convict. You can approach barrels of radiation, and if you have a syringe in your inventory, you can obtain a radiation booster. Injecting a booster will grant the Dreamer feral ghoul-like abilities. Use it too much, however, and risk going feral yourself. There is actually one other person you should meet. I have no idea what that Mary Beth was on about. My hair looks awfully wonderful today. <laughs> she is going to absolutely adore the pie I baked for her tomorrow. <laughs> I can't hear what you're saying, sweetheart. You're gonna have to speak up a little. What was that? Mm. No, still can't hear ya. Now listen, be patient. You let dear old Nurse Wilma take good care of you. But if you're not patient, it'll be a long while before I can fix you up. Okay? This concludes today's gameplay showcase. In the upcoming parts, the Nuevo Mexico team will continue to show off various new locations, characters, quests, and other reveals yet to come. Thank you for watching this video. If you'd like to support this upcoming mod, please like, subscribe, set the notification bell to all, and most importantly, share it with anyone you think might be interested in a project like this. We also have an official Discord server, which you can join with the link in the description. Until next time, Nuevo Mexico, never change.